G'day, it's Woody here and the gates are about to open on the third and final day at the National 4x4 show in Brisbane. Join me as we go around and talk to everyone else that's running Light Force. Oh, there he is. Hey, Found him. <laughs> I'm standing here with Macca at the National 4x4 show in Brisbane on the third and final day, mate. Final yeah. day, how are you finding the show? Sick. It's met heaps of people, having a great time. Pretty much just. My job's easy, I just stand here and talk to people and meet people, it's great. Talk about the cars, the channel, you know, that sort of stuff. Yeah, dream job. How you going? I'm going good, man. Yeah, How you going? Good. Very hot. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh, it's cooking. It's, it's absolutely <laughs> crazy. Um, I've noticed something new on the front of the car. What's yeah. going on there? I got some light force bodies. Yeah, H2X2s. Haven't used them yet. I haven't even flicked them on, so <laughs> wait for that. I'm doing big 12 volt episodes, so tune into our YouTube for that. TJ and Mac. Yeah, on YouTube, subscribe, like, comment. <laughs> Get on it, fellas. Like, it's going to be absolutely cool. You better prepare your retinas to see the Almighty God when you turn those I, things on. I'm excited. I'm excited. I noticed they got the LEDs around the outside too, so they're running lights. They are LED light bars, so if you've got a pair of those, you've got a pair of 20 inch light bars and a pair of HID spotties. Oh, duly, we're going to light up the world. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> epic, so make sure you tune in for that. <laughs> I'm standing here with TJ at the third and final day of the National 4x4 show in Brisbane, mate. Final day, have you been finding the show? Has it been, apart from this sweltering heat, has it been? It's been pretty good, guys. I actually really like to meet everyone who watches the channel. That's probably my favourite part of the show. Yeah, that's awesome. It's been really good to see everyone out here mingling and everyone's interacting with the industry, which is awesome to see. Mate, you got some new lights on the car. I've been noticing a couple of like Viper light bar action going on. What's yeah. happening there? Yep, the full size light bar in the front. What are you? What size is that one? You... That's a 40 inch single row yeah. Viper, just been released. So pretty excited, like Mac, I only just whacked it on, so it's not bloody wide yet. So I'm pretty <laughs> excited to get it out and blast some bloody wildlife with sunlight. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be awesome. Um, we're going to get that on, get it all wired up, um, and some work lights on the back as well. So yeah. yeah, prepare yourself for some lighting goodness. Yeah, I'm actually pretty excited for the rear lights because I'm currently cooking the dark. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. He's, yeah. He's got me sorted, guys. It's going to be really good. I'm standing here with Mike from Jeffish Off-Road on the Mitz Alloy stand at the National 4x4 show in Brisbane. It is the third and final day, mate. Have you been finding the show? Full on. Yesterday was a pretty big day, so... But it's been good, been great to be able to meet a lot of people, especially on the East Coast, so it's me being from Western Australia, so it's really good. How was the drive all the way from WA? I bet it was a long one. It was a long one, so uh, there was, uh, was a portion of the drive that was at night, so, um, yeah, thankfully, had the light force up front, it made a huge difference. You've recently had a full suite of Light Force upgrades. Um, take us through what you've selected and how it's working out for you. Okay, so on the front there, I've got the HTX2s. They are brilliant, like uh, especially with the, the double switch that you've got there as well. So I've got the LED rings um, as well as the HID pencil beams. Those things are amazing. Like on the nullarbor at night, you can see for days. And it's good too, when somebody's coming the opposite way, you can sort of dim those down. You've still got your LED ring if you've got those on. And it just gives you a really nice spread. So you can see all the kangaroos. If they're going to jump out in front of you, it gives you a bit more warning time, you know. Um, and I've also got the, the 50 inch light bar at the top there, the new Viper light bar. Uh, out in the bush, that thing is brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, sweet. I've noticed some lights sort of around the canopy as well. Which ones did you select for that? Yes. So I'm running the Rock 9s. I'm running six of those. And I'm running those through my Red Arc Red Vision system, so I can access those using my phone if I need to, or feel like I want to. But I've got the Red Vision system in the canopy as well, so I can turn them on and off through that. They provide so much light uh, when you're out camping as well. Or, even better yet, as a work light. Yeah. So they're great. Yeah, they're looking absolutely fantastic. I'm sure you're going to love it. As you get more miles behind those lights, you're going to be definitely saving your eyes and your fatigue and your body and everything like that. You're going to really enjoy that. It's been awesome to see you here at the show, and it's uh, been awesome to see some awesome rigs running light force.